Knoxville Raceway, fueled by speed. I'm Nate Van Haften, driver of the 360 number three car. The last couple of years, you've been just sneaking up on that 40 car, you know, and that track title, is that one of the main goals? Yeah, absolutely. It kind of has been for the past for, you know, at least four years since we felt we sort of had a handle on this place and consistent at getting the car hooked up the way we want. And yeah, that's been the goal. It'd take that little crown or whatever you want to call it away from him and he's got her locked down pretty good and it's just been bad luck the last three years in a row that uh, has kept us from that I think we've got everything in place to do it just uh, haven't got all the coins to fall in, in place to make it happen so you're a little busier though than just the race car I mean things are going really good there but things are also going good in the business right yeah absolutely we uh we, we're kind of jacks of all traits on everybody on the team is which is really cool and it, it makes a lot of neat things happen but um, the biggest ones we got Slideways Karting Center out there that uh, we've just built a new bar. Um, we've got a kitchen now, so we've got food. We've got a mini golf course out there. All 18 holes are up and running. So, um, yeah, that's definitely added a lot more to the workload. And uh, thank God I got a lot of good help behind me out there too, because the place just wouldn't wouldn't go the way it does. All of this wouldn't go the way it does without all the people around me. So when you have a really good run, you win. You make that right turn. Is one of the greatest things seeing the smiling faces and the excitement of the your team. It is. It's. Um, Honestly, it's it's in the team. The fans are awesome, and I love the heck out of all of them. And the other night when we got one, the roar was just amazing. You didn't even know you had that many fans, you know. But it's it's seeing these guys light up and all the hard work they put in over all the years, and uh, it really just fuels the thing. And it's kind of a double-edged sword, though. Once you get there, you know, second's never good enough anymore. And it's it's kind of a emotion juggling thing with everybody. You got to keep their spirits up because yeah, you go out and you win one week, you come back, you get second the next week and everybody's hanging their heads. You're like, guys, we still got second at the Knoxville Raceway, you know. So with all the positive things going on in your life and career and everything, why do this? <laughs> why not? That's the only reason we did everything else. Yeah, absolutely. I'd, I'd probably uh, build a hut on a beach and have a little garden and not even have a job if I didn't have a race car, you know. I've got no desire for money. It appeals to me at all. The only reason it does is because this stuff's so darn expensive and making people smile slideways, that's one of the coolest things too. Just last night, Logan and I were standing there watching the mobs of people just mow out of there smiling and laughing, just having a good time. And that's, uh, you know, pays more than putting money in your pocket by far. And that's what it's all about really still is just, just bringing smiles to people's faces and, and trying to have a good time and, and being around the people that you love. And they're all here. <laughs> How about, you know, greatest racing achievement for Nate Van Haften? Greatest racing achievement. Um, to put it down to one, that's kind of tough, I guess. But um, I think last year at the Nationals, we uh, had a heck of a day thrashing. Um, we're normally trying to be real prompt and prepared. You know, it takes the stress level down and makes things flow a lot better at the racetrack. And that night we were an hour late for our qualifying night of nationals. Had to dump the door down, shove the car over, said, here it is, here you go, and fly in the pits. We drew the second, or no, the last spot of time trials. The track was dry. We thought all hope was up. And we ended up timing, I think, eighth or sixth or something out of that. And uh, we're running second on uh, the feature was trying to run Lasoski down and him and I were both playing the, the catfishing game on the bottom and the axle snapped off but I, I was really proud of that night we came from being stressed out feeling like everything was behind and got on the track and everything went forward and, and uh, we're making one of the best drivers around kind of worried there so if the used worn out parts that we had hadn't failed and we'd had a little more money had a good rear end in there we probably might have got him but it's uh, to this point that was probably the coolest thing yeah just to run it against all those big names and holding our own about a rival you have a rival I have some people I don't like <laughs> Clint's my rival but I unfortunately don't tell anybody but I do kind of like the guy but <laughs> he uh, he's the same way professional on his game he's good and uh, that's what we want want to race against the best of the best we've always been by the bookers there was one race as a junior one two cycle when I was a little little kid that uh, the old man we were getting our butts beat every week, every year. Last race of the year, he decided to yank the restrictor plate out just to see if we could even run with him. Sure enough, I finally got my first win. You know, I was a kid, I was oblivious, and we roll across the scales, and right away, Dad's like, we cheated, guys. You know, don't even bother teching us, because they were going to anyway. I bawled my eyes out, you know. I took my first win away, and ever since then, I'm never going to cheat again. If you got to to win, you're just a low-life scumbag piece of crap if you think you got to play them games to get ahead. I want to move up to a 410 and, and long, long term, I'd like to get on the pavement and run some NASCAR. I'm, I'm smooth on the wheel. I think I'd shine a lot better there. At 410 too, you get a lot more wing speed. I think I could really do some pretty neat things in, in a, a big motor there and just don't have the finances to get to either of those. And we're out here doing the best we can with what we got. And hopefully we'll, we'll catch somebody's eye that does want to give us an opportunity there and uh, move up to either one. But 
I think uh, payment looks easy. I think you talk to Larson and them guys too. They're they're almost bored in them things. You know, they want to come back to this too. So I might get there and want to do the same thing. But right now, I think that uh, yeah, 410 and, and possibly some NASCAR stuff would be cool. That's who Nate Van Haften is.